What is up guys, it's your boy here back with another video. As you guys can see a title, in today's video I will be making my thrifty Z seat heated. As you guys can see, I'm super cold, I got my hood up, it's super cold right now and um, it's definitely a function that is very good to have. With the heated seats, uh, the wiring can be quite confusing I think. If your car didn't come with heated seats, then you won't really have the wiring for it to plug and play. Um, say for my V35 or G35 you call it, it doesn't have the heated seats from the factory, which means I have to wire everything in by myself. And if you haven't seen my couple of last video where I installed the Trip DZ um, seats in my V35 or G35, go check it out after this video. My plan is to basically, because those leather seats, they are heated seats from the um, 350Z, so basically I'll be finding what wire is for um, the heat pad, and I'll be tapping into those wire and make my own heated seats, my G35. So if you want to do the same on your own car, follow me through the video and let's get it. Look at that guys, even the neighbor's cat likes the G35, eh? <clears throat> Basically now what I'm going to do is just undo uh, the four bolts so the seat can be um, taken off so I can have a look at the wiring. And just like that, you guys can see, um, here's the wiring harness. So basically, um, I put a resistor on the airbag plug, so I um, got rid of that. And then this is a um, plug for the seat belt buckle and this is the main harness. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug all of these and I'm going to see which wire on the seat. You can see there's like, you can definitely tell that's like the motor wire and stuff like that. Which wire is the heated seat wire. Alright, let me explain. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now so you can see that's the okay right here that's the gray plug and that was plugged into this one and it was clipped onto here so basically i'll unplug that one and then um you want to find the yellow white and black wire and those three wires are for the heated seats and they are for the bottom part where your art sits on the seat right and um, so that goes into the seat right here, but then it splits off into another plug, which has red and black wire again, goes into the seat on the side. And that is the wiring for the back. So that's the back part and this is the bottom part. So basically what I'm doing right now is just to test whether I'm correct or not. So I got some wire connected to the red one, it goes into the back and the black one is ground, follows through here, come out to here and that's the red one. So I've connected using a jumper cable to my um, battery. So I've got positive, I've got the negative and then in theory the back of my seat should heat up. And I waited about 40 seconds and this is totally warm only this area upper here is not warm at all but probably because they don't have the heat pad up here it's probably only about here so you can definitely tell the um, temperature difference it's like warmer here so that means I'm correct on the um, wiring part so basically now I'm going to do is um, since the back of the seat got like the red and black comes out of here on the other side only got two wires but the bottom part got three wires so I've got to figure out what the white and yellow wire is for so I know black is brown that means either yellow or white wire is um, power Alright guys, so I think I pretty much figured out what is what. The um, black, yellow and white, which come through here, comes out of here as you can see I was testing all, of, all three of them. So basically, the yellow is power wire, both black and white are ground, 
or negative for the um, heat pad, but AR for different part of the seat. So basically, um, if you connect white and yellow together, um, I'll show you guys. And this part, this part of the seat gets quite warm, just these two parts. Whereas if you connect the black and yellow, the whole bottom part of the seat gets pretty warm. So, um, pretty much there are three pads, one and two and three under the seat. So, with that being said, um, what I am going to do is I'm going to connect the white one and black one together as a ground together and then the um, yellow one and red one together for power. So then I have a power and a ground. Alright, so just give me guys updates, you guys can see um, that color wire is the positive one, connect to the connect it to the um, red wire from that and I taped it up and follows down all the way to this plug and um, I connect it to the yellow one as well and it comes out of here. Obviously that's all taped up as well and blue one is the ground which connects white and black together from right here. So now I have a positive, I have a negative. Don't know if I still need to plug in this plug but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, hook up the battery to just these positive and negative and test if it still works the same. If it does, I'm going to plug this in. And then next thing what I'm going to do is I will need a switch and a power source. So that's going to be fairly easy compared to all these figuring out what wire is what. And yeah. Alright, so you guys can see I've removed the um, center console. Because I'm going to find some ground um, along there. So um, basically the ground I'm choosing to use is right here, right behind your um, airbag center module and um, I had the wire running all the way through here and down into this carpet running down into here coming out of here really if I want this job to be clean I should have these two wire made into a plug but right now I don't have a plug so I just just have to do and um, basically we've covered all of those and um, I'm not 100% sure if there's a good ground yet because I haven't tested it and this is a power wire and um, I've extended to here which I'm gonna tap into the um, fuse box right under here you guys can see um, right there so you need to get yourself one of these um, to tap into the fuse box I like to tap in the fuse box because I still can fuse stuff properly, especially heated seats because they draw us quite a bit of current I think. You, this is pretty like fundamental stuff but I just can't remember. So every time I use this I have to search it so you want to get the um, flow of the voltage correct and also you can see the top that's um, for the new fuse which is for heated seats. In this case I'm going to use 20 amp. Let me show you guys. The one right next to the fuse puller, which is a mirror control, I think. But anyway, it's the one that is right next to the fuse puller. And then it's a 10 amp fuse. You can see the black wire goes through here, connected to the um, power wire. So now let's test it. I've got my multimeter right here set up to voltage. The ground is going into that ground bolt. And right here, I'm just going to touch the power wire right here. You can see while the car is not, okay, while the car is not on, it's zero voltage. But when I have it on, on position, it's showing 12.7 volt. And that means I'm getting power if I turn it off. It's back to zero. Now, what I need to do is I need to add a switch. Apparently I got a um, neighbor's cat wanting to go on the shelf. 
Oh, mate. Having too much fun on my, in my garage, eh? Alright, back to work. So, basically, um, and just like that, I have extended the wires. So that's the positive that comes from the um, fuse tap and then go into the wire and that's looping back into the power seat so that's like each side of the positive wire and that is the ground coming from the side and into the same ground around the back so now the um um the switch is wired up and i'm just gonna quickly test out the switch so i'll have it in on position and now that's getting power means um, the heater seat is working and if we can turn it off like that that means it's stopped so yeah basically now I have to clean up the entire mess and put everything back together I'll show you guys what it looks like after I put everything back together all right and just like that it is all back together so as you guys can see the light is on ignition is just on acc totally warm um and of course i only did this seat so as for the other seat um basically huh i just realized this light is literally lighting up my roof <laughs> but anyway so as for the other seat works exactly the same um, we, all you need to do is we can even tap into the existing wire on the driver's seat for the power wire as well as the ground and all the rest of the wire works exactly the same so then you can wire another switch right beside this one and they have two switch one for the driver's side one for the passenger side the wiring part isn't too bad um, but it's definitely a lot of work I say it's not the hardest I've done um but definitely not the easiest if you guys have any question on this um, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below and if you haven't seen my thrift easy seat install um on the g35 go check out the other video in that one i've covered um all the airbag light um the power seat all that kind of stuff and if you like my G35 content, consider subscribing to my channel. I post plenty of G35 VQ content on my channel. And if you like this video, leave a like. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video.